Hey guys, this is Piranha, and I'm going to be making this video to show a few possibilities of future walkthroughs that I might be making. And I'm going to show like a few games, and then you guys just comment in the video and tell me what game you guys want to see. And this background that you see right now was made by Silent, so thank you, Silent, for that background. And alright, here are the game choices. One of the things that I can do a uh, Let's Play of is Spore. It's basically a game where you create creatures and then you, uh, your game takes in DLC from other random players around the world. And then your creature that you create, see here's the creation engine of the game. The creature that you create battles against those creatures and you can play against them. And the creature with the most, the most powerful creature or the most social creature wins and you basically evolve throughout stages in the game and I'm just making a really really crude creature just for the sake of time just showing the different things that you can add on see so you can add on hands, feet, arms, legs and here's the you when you start off you get a backbone and you can increase the thickness and thinness of it you can increase the length of the backbone and you can increase like the thickness of the limbs on your creature, you can change the proportions of the body and all that great stuff. You can add mouths to your creature. See, right here there's the, st the statistics. And once I add this mouth, see how it gets the bite ability? And there's nothing up here, but see it says the what I get from adding it if I can just get my mouse to cooperate see right there I can get sight if I add this onto my creature there we go our boy can see and you can change the positioning of it you can add a nose but nose doesn't do anything it's just there for effect um, what else is there you can add uh, offensive abilities to your creature you can give it spikes you can make it spit poison and you can add abilities for socializing with other creatures you can add things that will help your creature move through uh, different types of terrain like you can add wings you can add certain legs that make it jump higher like I have the frog legs which make me give me five jump but say I had something like let's see Looking for something with terrible jump. Say I had like these shitty ass suction cups, I get a jump of one. That's the shitty one jump. And you can name your creature something random. And you can change its color. There's different templates, or you can just go in and do it all yourself manually. And yeah, that's basically choice number one, Spore. If you want me to do Spore, just comment in the video. Another game that I could do is Civilization V. It's a, re it's a strategic game where you basically pick a civilization, and I just click play now to pick a random civilization. You lead a strong and wise. You pick a civilization, the and then the world, the you Persian can choose a whole bunch of different game settings. Where uh, computer civilizations are the also in the game, no and you have to battle with them to prowess, win the game. And there's a variety of different ways that you can win the game. Um, and right now I have my graphics settings low because I don't know if I can record with the graphics at very very high like this game can go up to and you get different units and each unit has a different ability and the settler starts off your city and your city has different like things to it there's food production gum building I don't know like I haven't played this game in too long so forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty well all I know is there's culture and research which in this game is science there's money gold, there's building which is production and food production. How the hell do I name my city? See I forgot everything because I play Civilization 4. I might do a walkthrough for that instead or I could do whichever one and then you can build stuff in your city. Consider sending your warrior out to explore new territory. And there's advisors in this game that help you 
and you can either build units or buildings and then you can research technologies that give you different things and as you progress through the game you get different technologies hold on let me open up the tech tree so you start off with something simple like agriculture and then you eventually get like animal husbandry which lets you get uh, domesticated animals and you get the wheel you can get mathematics and then it just escalates all the way up chemistry dynamite the railroad atomic theory lasers robotics nuclear fission or no that's fusion I wonder if there yeah there's fission back here there's nuclear fusion particle physics nanotechnology and then future technology which it just keeps researching over and over again that's basically all the tech well not all of the techs not even close there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do in this game see there's different game settings and there's like unit different units like warrior will upgrade into spearmen and then it'll go all the way to up like upgrade to like tanks and helicopters and you start off with little sailboats which eventually become like massive aircraft carriers it's pretty cool and then see you, you can move your unit tell it to do a whole bunch of things you can kill him and I, I forget the, how to name the stuff but there's a way to name it that's all I can say I'm gonna google it and then I can name shit and see this thing takes nine turns right here it says the turn count and the year and once you click next turn the computers will do their moves it's basically like a giant board game with animations for everything but it's still really fun for me and and yeah if you guys want me to do that just comment in the video